What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Bible Wisdom. You know, today's message comes from something that I was dealing with, and also it comes from Perry Stone. I highly recommend um, Perry Stone uh, if you're looking for an, a minister. And then I've said this in my other videos. Um, I recommend also Bobby Andian. Um, but anyway, um, you know, is your past um, preventing you from moving on to the future? Um, I've heard a, someone say that, you know, Perry Stone, he said how, you know, Jesus, he mentioned in the gospel that whoever puts his hands to the plow and looks back or, uh, you know, it could be a woman as well. Whoever puts their hands to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. And what he said was that when you're plowing something and you look back, it's hard for you to make a straight uh, row for your crops. And so, you know, I was just talking with the Lord today about... Um, just something that was bothering me in my past, you know, and I was really talking about another person, you know, I was, and I was kind of telling the Lord all these bad things that, you know, I feel like that person could be doing or something. And so what Perry Stone spoke to me was that, um, you know, you have to let go of the past and you have to be able to, um, look forward to to what's ahead and like jesus said you know whoever puts their hand to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of god and so how do we do that you know we have to press on take hold of um what is in our future you know heaven heavenly things you know the life that jesus has for us you know the kingdom of god um life with the holy spirit in our everyday life you know, um, and, you know, another way of uh, viewing not looking back as you plow, you know, of course, as you um, get the things from the word of God, as you take in what the word of God is saying, what God is trying to do in our life and is doing is not looking to your past about the things that you've gone through the bad things that have happened to you, the bad things that someone else has done to you, you know, whether you are trying to receive forgiveness from someone else because you did bad to them or, you know, they have done bad to you. And, you know, we have to let go of those situations and really grasp on to the life that God has for us, you know, and if we don't, we feel angry, we feel bitter, either towards that person or towards that situation. And it harbors that unforgiveness. You know, I recommend the book Bait of Satan um, by John Bevere. And one of the things that he was pointing out in his book is that sometimes we say, oh, I forgive that person. You know, I forgive that person, but yet we might still talk about the bad situation. We might bring it up to God over and over again. And, you know, one of the things that he was saying was really praying, you know, confessing that we have done it and really praying for the Lord Jesus to forgive us of that unforgiveness that we harbor towards that other person and then also releasing it, you know, release it to the Lord and whatever that person did to you, you know, whatever you did to that person, you know, releasing that bitterness, that unforgiveness to the Lord, you know, um, by a simple prayer, you know, by praying to the Lord um, and help asking him to help you forgive that person to have forgiveness in your heart towards that person and then also one thing that perry stone brought out is that you can't change your past you can't change go back in time and change what you did 
or what someone else did. And the only option is to move forward in victory and freedom and accepting that we have to let it go. That's the only option, you know, and we can't just always try to, you know, say, oh, this person harmed me, so, you know, I'm angry. One of the things that I've noticed that that anger is trying to do, if you feel anger or bitter about your situation or your past or things that's happened to you, you know, is that it prevents you from moving forward and it also is tempting you to sin. You know, when you feel angry, when you feel bitter about a certain situation that is happening to you, you feel like you're angry. And so how can I get back at this person? How can I make things right myself? But one thing that Perry Stone mentioned was that you have to be able to let the Lord handle it. And I think that's a level of maturity that I want to get to as well. Is that not trying to solve these issues on my own, in my own strength, but, you know, letting it go and giving it over to the Lord for him to handle it, you know, for God to bring justice about, for God to bring about, you know, what is right, you know, for God to handle the situation. But if we're holding on to it, you know, and we're bitter, we're not moving forward with life. You know, maybe you're not witnessing for Christ or, you know, maybe you're not moving on with life, um, but you're just holding it on the inside and, you know, you're, you're making it hard for yourself to really receive the love of God. You know, God loves us, but I've noticed even today, sometimes my thoughts would be like, you know, oh, does God really love me? Is God really good? You know, oh, this bad situation has happened to me. So, you know, um, it must mean that God is this, that, or the other. And we get into this mindset of like, oh, all of life is bad, you know, all, you know, I'm having such a bad life. So what can I do to make this right? And usually those options are something sinful. So anyway, I, I hope this video was helpful that, you know, you have to pray and, and really choose to let it go. It's a choice to not talk about it anymore. You know, not talk about it to other people, not talk about what that person did to you. You know, not talk about, not talk about it, you know, and give it over to the Lord, but also, you know, um, grabbing hold, you know, doing things of God, whether that be, you know, you're going to church, you're serving in church, um, you're listening to the Bible a lot, you're uh, practicing what the Bible says, you know, doing good things, you're loving those people that you don't want to love or you're loving showing love to people in your life when you could be bitter towards them or you could be angry towards them but yet you are choosing to show love and so that's our goal you know as uh christ followers is to um really step out in faith and let something go when we could hold on to it and not uh, prosper and receive a blessing from God um, because we're harboring unforgiveness. And we know that God said that if we don't forgive others from our heart, we will not be forgiven. And so it's hard because you, I know I, I sometimes feel like God, you know, I want them to really, um, you know, have some sort of bad thing happen to them but in reality is you know I wouldn't really want something bad to happen to me if I did something wrong to someone else which you know I have and so you know I need to be able to 
show the love of God to that person, even from my heart, not necessarily, you know, um, even if I don't see that person, you know, from when I think about them, you know, am I trying to bless them? You know, am I handing it over to the Lord? Because like Abraham said, you know, um, will not the judge of all the earth do right? You know, God does right. You know, um, he does what's right in every situation. So I think it comes down to a matter of trusting God. You know, are you trusting God in your situation? And um, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Um, hope you got something from it. Hope it's helpful in some way. Um, again, check out Perry Stone and also Bob Yandian if you're looking for a minister to watch every day. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.